Hey everybody, this is Jim Batzer. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to sign up for My IT Lab, how to download the files you need to complete a My IT Lab project, um, completing it, submitting that project. Uh, I'll intentionally make an error, and then I'll show you how you can see uh, your grade report, um, and then correct the error and resubmit for a better grade. Okay, so. I'm inside the module here. I'm going to go to Coursework Content. Now, this will typically not be the first week of classes for you. Um, it could be if you're taking an intercession course. But at some point in the semester, this link over here in the table of contents side, the navigation side over here, My Lab IT Student Links will appear. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And you should have some items here visible and available to you. Um, most of these you don't need to worry about too much. Um, this video is going to cover a lot of this. This integration support, this could be useful if you're having problems and the support um, uh, worker asks you um, for, some, for some information, right? So you could click this and get some diagnostic information that might help them uh, solve your problem. But Here's what we're going to do. We're going to click right here, My Lab IT Course Materials. So, a couple things that happened here. So, it seems like now I have to sign in, but really, I have activated my account, and all I need to do is go ahead and close this tab, okay? You don't ever sign in to any page like this, you do not need to. Um, once you're signed in to Brightspace, um, you will be able to enter your My IT Lab. Now, this process typically takes about five minutes to, to uh, activate your account and get, your, um, get everything correct. But let's take a look. So I'm going to just close this tab again. Never, never log in. Uh, I'm going to hit click the link again. And it should take me right into my course this time. All right, so you can see I'm at course materials, so I'm viewing any projects that I might currently have available. Over here, I have my name. It just says demo student because I'm using I'm using my my demo student over here. But this should show your name, of course. Um, now, to complete a project, what I'm going to do is go into the available folder that I have. In this case, Word projects and Word exams. So Word is going to be the first of the uh, Office applications that we'll do. I have a skill builder project now. You might have um, some date deadlines on here when you see yours. So you might have the, the time that the project is released and the time that it is due. Um, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click right here on the project. It should open in a new tab. And we have our four basic steps. So downloading the materials required to complete the project. That includes the instructions. Um, any resource files that we might need, uh, like images or lists that we're supposed to include to a, in, in a document. Um, and there should also be a final, um, a final version um, file. So to show us basically what the project looks like when, when it's all done. Now be very careful that project or that document is basically an image of, of what your file should look like. Um, so be very careful about copying and pasting. Even from the instructions, I would never copy and paste anything from the instructions to your document. Um, this step number two, you can kind of ignore. This is just, a, it just shows you all the steps in the instructions, but you'll have gotten those from the download materials. And then when you're, you've completed your project, you save it, you close the project, the application that you're working in. So if you're working in Microsoft Word, you close Microsoft Word. You always want to do that before you go to submit something. And the reason is you're going to save your project close to the beginning of the project. So step one is going to say save as. So you kind of rename it and you save it someplace different. Um, now the problem is I could work for another hour or 45 minutes completing the project and then I just minimize Word and I go to submit and what do you think happens? Which file do you think I'm actually submitting to this website? It is not all the work that I've done in the last 45 minutes. 
it is that first time that I saved the project, right? So essentially blank, um, I, I did step one and that was it. Um, so you wanna be very careful about that. Now, if you're um, you know, a, a great student, you might be saving uh, a lot, so that will help. Um, but I think the biggest kind of foolproof way to do it is just to close the application you're working in before you submit anything. So you never want Word or Excel or PowerPoint to be open when you're turning in a project. That's my advice anyway. Because if you close it and you haven't saved it, it's going to do what? It's gonna remind you um, with a little prompt, uh, would you like to save this project, right? It's gonna say like, there's unsaved work, do you wanna save it? And you're gonna say, oh yes, of course. Um, then it will close. So it's a great, uh, it's a great um, thing to do, I think. That is, again, my advice to you. And then once you choose your file and upload it, you are going to click Submit for Grading. All right, so I'm gonna go here to Download Materials. I'm gonna get my instructions. And uh, this looks very tempting, this Download All Files, but I would not do that um, because this will um, give you all the files in a zip file, and then you either have to um, uh, open up that zip file, you have to uh, unzip that file, um, or if you work inside of it, um, some of your files can be read only. It's just, it's just very weird. So I wouldn't do it. I would just download all the ones that you need. So this one that says student, that's going to be your last name. Um, grader A2, this is my start file. So this is what I'm going to begin with for the project. So I'm going to download that. And then this is an, an additional resource file. So this is a list that I'm going to um, include in my my business letter that I'm writing here so I'm going to download that and then here are my final results so I can download this if I want to um, just to kind of compare my project to that project now that said even if your project looks 100% like the picture on this document it doesn't mean that you followed all the steps correctly right the underlying styles or um, choices formatting uh, that went into that could be different. Um, although it could appear similar to the picture, um, it, you could still miss it. So you definitely need to follow the instructions um, and watch all of the videos um, that we have for these projects. Okay, so I've downloaded all four, um, and you don't always have to get, a, if you don't want to get the final results, you really don't have to. I'm going to hit close. And then one thing I want to show you really quick, back in the class, um, I mentioned videos for a little bit, so I'm going to go back to coursework content. And if you scroll down a bit, now when you're taking this class, um, you will have a module uh, where we're asking you to do chapter one, uh, Word chapter one. Now the videos will be in that module. They are also in this topic over here called Skill Builder Videos Archive. So if I click this, you can see these are all the videos for all the chapters that we're going to do and the exams as well. Uh, so if I click Word Chapter 1 Skill Builder, I have a nice list here of all the videos uh, for every step in this project. Okay, So these videos follow exactly along with the, um, the projects, uh, the instructions. All right, I'm going to pause the video here, complete the project, um, save it, and then I'm going to go ahead and submit it here. All right. Actually, I'm going to show you the first steps of starting this project. Now, again, there are videos for every single step, so I just want to kind of show you. So here I go. This is the instructions. Put that over here for a sec. This is my start file. I'm going to click Enable Editing on here. Now, just so you can see these. So here's my instructions, which I follow. Here's my starting document. So I need to go ahead and, and do everything listed on these instructions over here to this saving or this uh, start file. Um, and you can see here, this was the first step I was talking about where we save it. Um, so we do a save as, right? We do a file save as. Um, <clears throat> and Yeah, and then I'm going to go ahead and name that and then follow the rest of the steps. So, so I'm going to do that. Um, give me just a sec. Okay, so I've completed the project. Um, I made one little mistake, so we'll see that there. 
Um, now, out of habit, you can hit save a few times. That is totally fine. Um, but remember my advice. Close the application completely. So I know where I've saved it. When I did my save as step, I saved it to my documents folder. I'm going to close the project, close the instructions, and then I'm going to go ahead and submit it. So now I'm at, so I'm skipping step two here, kind of, because this is just taking a look at the different steps, um, and that's all in the instructions. So I'm going to choose my file. I'm going to go ahead, and this is how it's been renamed. So it started off. Um, skills word one zero one greater a2 and uh, that first step I'm going to rename it my my own last name my first name so you do that um, your last name your first name word zero one skill builder so that's the one I'm going to submit I'm going to upload and then I'm going to click submit for grading now in this part where it says kudos um, when I go back to course materials it will show my grade um, if I close this too quickly, sometimes it doesn't have a chance to finish grading it before I'm asking it to make that, that page um, and show me whatever score it has, so it might say pending. But if you wait a few seconds here, like five or seven seconds, then hit close assignment, it will close this tab, and you should see your grade right here. Okay, so here's my score, 47.3 um, out of 50. Okay, that's my first attempt on skill builder projects. You get three attempts on exams, you only get one. So now what I want to do is view my project. So I'm going to go ahead and click these three dots and I'm going to go to view submissions. So I want to see like what I got wrong. Right? I'm going to click this submission. What? Okay, that's better. <laughs> Sorry. Um, when in doubt, just try something again. That's a good good computer advice. Okay. Now there's at least uh, there's two good ways to take a look at your errors. One is to look through this list, and you're looking for anything red. The important thing is that you click on this arrow because this just has the entire step, entirety of step three listed here. Many many things you could have done wrong. Um, this error or this arrow is going to show you the specifics. Okay, so what in particular I missed. So you can see here in the paragraph beginning, uh, 7281 East Baldwin Drive, the text was not set to 721 East Baldwin Drive. So that's interesting. I'm going to have to take a look at that because I did not mean to make a mistake for that one. So we'll see what's going on. Uh, in the paragraph beginning, Aspen Falls CA. Um, now this I did make a mistake on. Now what you'll notice here though is that this says this is the perfect thing that you should have had in there, right? Aspen Falls CA 93463. Um, the error is saying it's just not set to the perfect thing. It doesn't show you what you actually had it set to. So my advice is to download and view this live comments report. So I'm going to click here where it says live comments report. And that's going to be downloaded and you can see this one differentiates itself because it includes that prefix there LC for live comment. All right, so I'm going to enable editing, open this up a little bit bigger. Now the first page typically lets me know here's how you did, here's what you missed, and then it says two elements commented in place. Please check below. So one thing I do, I'm already viewing um, I'm already viewing my errors, but here I'm going to scroll down now you see this little bubble here. If I go to my review tab and switch here where it says simple markup or no markup, I'm going to change that to all markup. And what, what you'll see is that it's actually showing me uh, things over here now, right? The comments associated with any errors that I made. So, oh, I see. I didn't put the word drive, DR. All right. Now, what did I do wrong for this step? Well, look at this zip code, or yeah, this zip code here. Uh, it's supposed to be 93463. I put 93469. So now I use this document to find out where my errors are, but um, I am not going to make corrections on this document, okay? 
This is just my guide to help me see the errors I made. Now what I want to do is open up my uh, skill builder document that I was working on before. So this is the one I was working on and that I turned in. And now I'm going to make the corrections that I'm supposed to. So I'm going to add the DR there and I'm going to change this, I believe, to a 3. Right? It needs to be set to a 3. Yes, that's correct. Okay. So again, I want to go ahead and save this. If you always remember to save, that's great. But the big thing is close down the project, close down the project. All right, now I'm here viewing my submission. I'm gonna click this X to get out of viewing my submission. So now I've seen my error, I've corrected my error, I saved it, and now what I'm gonna do is resubmit for an additional attempt, okay? I get three attempts. So here I am clicking on Word uh, Chapter One Skill Builder again, pop open in a new tab. Now this time I can skip the download material step. I do not, I've already completed the project. I don't need the materials. I just go right to step three. I'm gonna submit my updated one. And you can see here that it is 320 on my computer and this file was saved at 319. So I know that's the one that I was just uh, working on that I just fixed. I recommend that you always click this date modified bring up your most recent stuff right to the top and then double check that time just to make sure it makes sense. Like if this said 305 or something like that, I know that this is not the correct file, right? Okay, so I'm gonna highlight that, hit open, upload. I'm gonna submit for grading. I'm gonna count to five or, or, or six. All right. There we go, so now I see the score. 50 out of 50, yay, I took care of my errors. One thing to be aware of, if you close that, that little kudos message too fast and it comes back here and it's your second or third attempt, you're going to see your previous score. Um, sometimes for students that kind of frustrates them and they just submit it again and again. Um, you always want to give it a little bit of time or if you think you didn't give it any time, just click this Word Projects and Word Exam um, breadcrumb up here and it will manually refresh this page and you will see your most recent score. All right, so that's it. Um, I hope this video kind of helps explain how to activate your MyIT Lab account, which is the first thing we did, and then how to access um, your skill builder projects, download all the files you need to complete them, complete them, submit them, um, check your grade report to see if you made any mistakes, fixing some of those mistakes, um, and then saving and resubmitting for a better grade. Um, and one other thing, just real quick, related to the videos, you know, if you missed, like, say, step nine and step 10, um, you could just go through and rewatch these two videos, right? That's a great way to do that. See exactly what happened in the project and then, and then make your corrections. That's a great way to do that. All right. Um, thank you very much.